hairstyle that is inspired by a braid that we saw on Instagram, and I will have that account linked below. I'm going to be making a side braid. You can do this in the center if you want, or if it's easier, you can start this in a ponytail. I'm going to begin by splitting her hair into four strands, and the third strand over, I'm going to make a little bit skinnier than the rest. So this one right here, I'm doing a skinny strand, and then the other three, I want about the same thickness. Now that I have her hair sectioned off, I'm going to start with this third strand, and I'm going to make a regular braid here. I'm making a lower side braid here, so I'm not going to want to start this braid clear up at the top. I'm going to start it down here by her neck. So as you can see, it's kind of looser up in this area so that I have some room to move that around and place it where I want as I finish the rest of the braid. Now with these other three sections of hair, I'm going to be making a fishtail braid in each one. And before I start each braid, I'm going to kind of pull the hair over and position it where I want it to sit before I start braiding. And then to make the fishtail braids, you just split the section of hair in half. And then I'm going to be taking a small strand from one side and crossing it over to the other side. And then same thing over here. I'm breaking off a small section, crossing it over to the other side. And you don't want it super tight, again, here at the top. I'm making it kind of loose so that I can move the braid over. You just continue that all the way to the bottom. If you've made fishtail braids before, you know that they're kind of time consuming, so this hairstyle does take a while, but I think it's worth it. The braid looks really cool when you're done. did the rest of that braiding off camera because it would have been some very boring footage. This actually took me almost 15 minutes to do all of these braids. So I have a fishtail, a fishtail, a regular braid, and another fishtail. This one you can really do any type of braid you want. I did a regular braid just because it's quick and easy and I wanted it to look different than the other three. So now I'm just going to go ahead and braid these all together into a four strand braid. I'm going to start with this braid on the left, and I'm going to bring it over the braid it is sitting next to, and then under the regular braid. And then this braid on the right is going to go under the braid it is sitting next to, and then over the regular braid. So I'm just going to continue that pattern all the way down. I'll show you one more time. Here on the left, I'm going to go over and under. And then with the strand on the right, I'm going to go under and over. So at this point, it really is pretty easy and it goes pretty quick. It's just braiding all of those fishtails in the beginning that takes forever. You want to make sure that you have braided the regular braid that's running down the middle all the way to the bottom because you're probably going to run out of that strand first. And when you get down to the bottom with all of your braids, you can just remove all of those temporary elastics and tie it off with one clear rubber band. So this is how the finished braid ends up looking. I really love this one. I think it looks so cool. If you want to, you can go ahead and stretch out the edges of this on both sides. I think I'm going to leave ours just like that. And then again, if you want to start it in a ponytail, you can do that and it's going to have a cleaner finish. I kind of like the messy look on her. 